let's see what happens. Jeez. She got it easy. If it's just one furniture, furniture that's like, that is haunted, get rid of that one piece of furniture. You're good. You don't have to move houses. Unless you have too many bad memories <laughs> in that house. That's an old truck. That truck has been through life. Do you see that truck? That's like beat up. That's worse than Bella's truck from Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a weird shot. Oh, okay, maybe there's more to this shot. One thing I have to ask, why is this guy choosing to do all this in the middle of the night? Why not do it in the morning when it's less creepy outside? Like, why in the middle of the night? Why? <laughs> the hell is that? That noise was creepy. I'm assuming that last piece of furniture is gonna be the haunted furniture because he looked at it for way too long. <laughs> yep, that's it. They're focusing too much on it. That is the ghost. The ghost resides. Where the ghost resides, where the ghost resides. <laughs> where the ghost resides. Okay, so um, okay. basically, uh, just to reiterate, you're gonna wanna call this number right here and then this number right here to set up your gas and electricity. Water and trash are obviously included in your rent and okay if you could just sign right here and right here and then initial at the bottom here please Ooh. we love to see it that 555 phone number reserved for movies because they aren't real phone numbers i think everybody knows that so i just like to Perfect. say it <laughs> awesome okay these are your keys this one right here is for the front of the building. Do not copy it. And this right here is for the rest of the building. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to LA. Oh, well, thanks for coming through, um, Elidson or Elidson. Uh, thanks for coming through. And yes, have a good time at work if that's possible. <laughs> but have a good night. Thanks for coming through. cute place it even has a fireplace and everything and i think it has a mirror above the fireplace which kind of sucks because i would like to put a tv above the fireplace where the money reside where the money reside it's a decent it's a decent closet no, I didn't think she would either, but you know, it's granny. Um, Mom, I just wanted to let you know that I did go a little over the rent that we agreed to, but I'm in a really safe neighborhood just off Mingo Ave, so I was just wondering maybe if you could send me a little more money just until I get started, and I promise I'll get a job ASAP. That isn't, that's a cute first apartment. Like, that's a great first apartment, actually. It's not shitty at all. It seems like it has a nice, decent view of, like, other nice apartments. It has a fireplace. Oh, she is chilling. She is living life lavish. Oh, no, honestly, don't even worry about that. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Cheap furniture, Los Angeles. That is in Los Angeles. That house, I just took in. That apartment is in Los Angeles. If you know how expensive Los Angeles is, then you know this girl is just doing fine. If that was her first apartment in Los Angeles, that is an amazing apartment. Like, it's a good apartment in general, not to talk of Los Angeles. Like, whoo! No, 
don't get something from there. Oh, that's where she messed up. She's trying to get a freaking furniture in the freaking graveyard. Not graveyard, but like a junkyard. It's just on the floor there. You don't know if it has bed bugs. Like, it's just, don't do it. No. Wipe that smile off your face and keep it moving. No. It's really well kept for something that bangs on the floor like that when a guy drops it off. It's really well, like, organized, like, well, it's in good condition. The ghost is looking right at her. She doesn't realize it. She went, it's next to, like, she was, like, in a transit for a minute there or something. Girl, get that shit out of your house. Oh no. She's gonna get regret that in the nighttime. <laughs> oh, she's gonna regret that one in nighttime. <laughs> uh don't show anything, don't show anything. Uh I don't wanna see it. <gasps> oh no. Oh, it's already operating in the daytime. Oh that that when you see a ghost operating in the daytime and nighttime, it means that ghost don't give a shit. Which means you need to get out. Get out while like just get out because that ghost don't that ghost doesn't wait till nighttime. That's a serious ghost. That ghost means business. It's already operating. Oh, she got an addition. Absolutely. Can't wait. Is she an actress? Is she a singer? Is she a dancer? What does she do? What else can you get an audition for? Failure is not an op. Oh, is an option. Fear is not. Oh, I like that. Failure is an option. Fear is not. That's a really good quote. I like that. It's usually failure is not an option. And when you have that quote, oh, when failure hits, it's even more sour. And I think she's an actress or actor. I'm not sure what if they call people uh, women actors actresses still, but actor. Because you see all these people on her wall, and they are all actors, except for Travis Barker. I know he's a musician, a drummer. Okay, so she's an actor. That's a really nice apartment. Oh, no. You here. I can't even do it. Ooh, that sound is really, like, satisfying, though, to hear. I would think it's my next-door neighbor. Go check it out, girl. <laughs> Go check it out, girl. Uh. Oh! I have goosebumps! <laughs> this one is the scariest one I've watched so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm looking around me because I'm scared. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out! You ha you have your patio right there. Just go outside. Take a chill pill. Oh, she went back inside. And honestly, if I saw that, I'll have to go to someone's house. But I think she's in a new city, so she probably doesn't have anyone she knows around here. That's the worst. Oh, okay. I like the slow build-up. They're not trying to show us everything right away. They're trying to like bring it in stages. I like this. I like this. Hollywood Island Station. Thanks, Arnold Metro. Please don't eat, drink, or smoke in trains or on platforms and avoid placing your feet on the seat. Mmm. It's all right. I don't know what to say to her. Being an actress and having to do audition upon audition upon audition must be so tiring because I can imagine it feels similar to when you watch like work on a good YouTube video and you put all this time and effort and energy into editing and then filming and then it doesn't do that well on YouTube and then you just have to keep going until like your channel builds. I feel like it's probably even 10 times worse because you have to you actually have to commute to a, lo to a location and uh, I don't know why I compared it to YouTube just now but I just know that feeling. So I can imagine it's like ten times three or times four because you have to commute there. You have to do it on a, to live people who are scrutinizing you like live. I don't know. 
I don't know how I got into this tangent, but anyways, let's keep watching what's going on here. Yeah, I know. Anyways, I'm, I'm a little exhausted right now. Can I call you later? It's okay. The ghost will keep you company. No, <laughs> the ghost will keep you company. It will keep you occupied. Go say hello to your little friend. <laughs> can, I, can I call you back? Oh, why? I like how they shot that. That's a really cool way to shoot it. That's a great way to shoot it. How they she lingered in the, in the corner and then we heard her voice change. Oh, hell no. I would think an intruder came in. You better get out of your house and call the cops. That is worthy of getting out of your house and calling the cops because just in case the intruder is still in there, that will be like be what I'll be thinking. Oh, what is that? The guy that dropped off his wardrobe also had black stuff on his skin. Oh, that's the mark of the ghost. That's the mark of the spirit. It's too late now. Oh, is she looking for bed bugs? No, it's not bed bugs, man. It's your ghost. <laughs> it's the ghost in your closet. It's literally a ghost in her closet. A ghost in her wardrobe. The lion, the witch, and the ghost. <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, and the ghost. That's so creepy. I think my lip is dry. If you are in this situation right here, this exact situation, are you gonna check out the noise? Are you gonna leave the house? Are you gonna think it's an intruder? Are you gonna think it's a ghost? What is your mindset in this exact position? I don't know. I'll just have to pass out and see what happens. <laughs> Look at her putting space in between her clothes like a responsible adult. Ooh. Apparently, sleeping right below your window is like, I don't know if it's a whole Nigerian thing, but my mom is Nigerian, right? Well, I mean, I'm Nigerian too, but um, she hates it. She's like, never put your bed and sleep right below your window. It's not good. I don't know if it's like a thing where physically she's scared something will happen or if it's more like a, a bad omen or what, but apparently you're not supposed to sleep with your head below your window like that. So maybe that's what it is too. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't want to see anything. This is really well done, and I love all the different angles they're using. Like, that angle was very creepy. It looks like something's watching over you in a, not in a good way. Mm. No, close the vents back. Mm. She's getting that feeling that something's watching over her. She's getting that feeling. She's getting that feeling. Mm. Or maybe she heard it open. Mm. 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 They're gonna pan to the top and she's gonna see the thing. They're gonna pan to the top, it's gonna be on the wardrobe. Because I remember in the thumbnail, there was something on the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. scariest one I've watched. I'm sorry, this is the most scariest short film I've watched. Mm, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't freaking go look for it. If something is attacking you, don't go looking for it. 
freaking be on the offensive or defense and wait for it to come to you and attack it if you need to. Don't freaking go looking for it. The time she's using to do this can be using to move that freaking wardrobe away from the front of her door and run out. Piss. <laughs> Uh, uh, she's gonna look back, it's gonna be right there in front of her. <laughs> oh! She didn't die. <laughs> she didn't die! So what happened? It just stood at her and she screamed and then it vanished? Like, ooh. Oh, that sucks for her because she's an actress. She needs her face. Your face is your freaking money as an actress. And now she has all those black dots on her face. Oh, no. The moral of the story, kids, don't freaking get stuff from the freaking junkyard. Go to a, like a, what's it called? A value village, like a thrift store. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Did she die? Oh, he died too. So it kills people. Oh, oh, it's it's oh, it means business. It kills. He's dead anyways, even if he returned it. So it's whoever touches it, they're like doomed. Don't tell me someone else is gonna. What they need to start doing, don't drop it off in perfect condition. You need to freaking tear that shit apart. That way, no one else can get their hands on it. Because if one sees that, uh, someone is eventually gonna pick it up. Don't do it. Oh, he's good looking too. Oh, your face about hey, to get hug. messed up. Come take a look at this. Mm. Oh, that was a really really well done one that was amazingly well done that i think that is like my most favorite one i've watched since i've started watching short movies i think that's really good wow wow that was so well done that was terrifying it had a good storyline there was actually consequences it wasn't just the ghost is gonna give you a scare and then you can drop it off and live your life no Consequence number one, your skin is going to have all these weird spots on it. But it doesn't matter anyways, because you're going to be dead in the next two seconds. Well, damn. Too bad no one thought to, like, dismantle it when they dropped it off there. Especially in the morning, when, like, you know, it's kind of a bit more safe, you know? Jeez, that demon is a pro in doing ASMR tapping sounds. What did I say? It's such a, like, it's such a... It's such a, what's it called, like, satisfying sound. It's so oddly satisfying. So she bought a closet and placed it near next to her closet. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's what she did. <laughs> she got an apartment in L.A. What kind of roommate did she expect? Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it because roommates are, like, messed up in L.A. or something? I don't really get that one. Don't worry. You're safe here in the comments. Here, have a cookie. This guy must be the top scarer of the adult section for Monsters, Inc. He must be. That was so scary. I didn't even see his face, and I'm very happy I didn't see his face because that will stress me out. I can't even think about looking at that. In Asia, you don't simply pick up stuff abandoned by the, out, by the roadside. However good they still look. Trust me, they are thrown out for good reasons. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's my Nigerian side. I can't see something that was abandoned. Unless it's a thrift store. I guess something about thrift stores feel more safe. But if something's just dropped off on a hillside or like just outside, I'm assuming that person doesn't want anybody else to touch it. I'm not touching it because I'm not trying to take home any demons with me. Like, better safe than sorry. It's okay. It's not by force free. Them. It's not by, by force free. It's not everyday free. It's okay. I like how she already had a built-in closet in her room. She didn't need to pick that up. Yeah, and the thing about it is her closet probably wasn't even filled. Like, she did not need that. She just invited a ghost into her house for no reason. She should have went to Ikea. Legit. Go to Ikea. The moral of the story, go to Ikea. <laughs> this is a long Ikea ad, in other words. 